Ever wonder how the salt on your fries gets from the earth to your plate? Let's go inside a massive salt processing factory and break it down step by salty step. There are two main sources of salt sea salt made by evaporating seawater in huge ponds. Rock salt, mined from underground deposits with drills and even dynamite. In both cases, we're after the same thing, pure sodium chloride. Once the salt forms, it's time to harvest. Giant machines scoop and load the salt onto conveyor belts. It's still full of dirt and minerals, so next comes the cleanup. Raw salt is washed using brine, that's super salty water, to remove sand and impurities, without dissolving the salt. Smart, right? Now it's starting to look like the stuff on your kitchen table. Big salty chunks are crushed into smaller uniform crystals. Then they're screened to sort out different sizes, from fine flakes to coarse crystals. Each type has a different use and flavor. Salt still holds some moisture, so it's dried using rotary dryers or hot airbeds, bringing moisture down below 0.5%. To prevent iodine deficiency, most countries add iodine to salt. A fine spray is mixed into the salt during this stage. No taste difference. Big health impact. Salt is tested constantly for purity, moisture, grain size, and iodine levels. Top factories test every hour to meet food-grade standards. Time to pack it up. Automated machines fill and seal bags from 1 kilogram to 50 kilograms, ready for supermarkets, kitchens, or even road salt trucks. Salt isn't just for food. It's used in water treatment, detergents, even de-icing highways. One factory can make over 1 million tons per year. That's 400 Olympic swimming pools of salt. Next time you see salt, you'll know the story behind it. Like this behind-the-scenes journey, Hit like, subscribe, and stay curious.